Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to No Man's Sky. I'm really excited about this live stream. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show. Uh, this game is great. If you haven't checked it out, definitely do so. Hello Games, you're doing an amazing job. So I've got all sorts of stuff to show and uh, stuff that's really new to me. So I'm pretty excited about uh, sharing it. Uh, there's a brand new freighter update. It made a lot of changes to my freighter, so I want to show what that means. Uh, I uh, got a Nautilon for the first time and uh, going to drive that around for the first time. Uh, I've never built a Minotaur before. I'm going to do that. And there's a new thing in the game called Cosmic Megafauna. So we're going to check that out too. So hopefully you'll find this uh, stream really entertaining. And, of course, if you do like it, smash that like button. Uh, you can dislike it if you don't like it. Uh, but hopefully through the process, I'll also provide some tips. I am by no means an expert at this game, but I have figured out a few things here and there. And so I'll try to share those. Um, all right. Live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch on whichever one you want. Previous videos are on YouTube. There's actually a playlist for... Uh, this main No Man's Sky, and then also uh, some of the expeditions that I've done. So we are starting out at, this is my home planet. So this was the first paradise planet I ever found. Uh, so I consider this my home base. I uh, love this planet. And uh, this right here is my first base. Uh, there are updates that the game made for base building, and so I have incorporated some of those. And so made some updates to uh, uh, to the base so uh, hello games you did a good job it looks really nice so uh, I don't do a lot of lavish stuff with my bases but those those updates are nice it, it definitely looks better than the original structure that was there and then I got this new thing where I've got this friendly sentinel he's like my buddy a reconstructed drone reconstructed sentinel so it's kind of funny because normally when you see those one, they're scary, and two, they're really annoying. And so it's kind of nice seeing one that's on your side. So that's why it's colored blue. So we're going to fly up to space, and I'm going to call the freighter. This is my golden vector. Uh, this was available in the, uh, um, the first expedition. Really like it. Just checking. Okay. There's a thing that you have to use to call the cosmic megafauna. We'll do that at the end. So I'm going to first fly out a little bit here. And then I'm going to call the freighter. see where the space station is. How far is that? That's pretty far. Wait, let me go out this way. There we go. All right. And um, I know that they have updated the exterior as well. So we'll we'll take a we'll take a look around the exterior too. Looks amazing. It reminds me a little bit of Star Destroyers from Star Wars. I mean, it looks really nice. I, I like it a lot. I want to fly, try to fly around it without crashing into it. Neato. I mean, these things are huge, and they've got turrets. Can you see those guns right there? They've got these turrets. They've got these turrets right here. Yeah, defense turrets. So, my understanding is that they updated the textures and everything, so it looks really nice. Um, I, I can't really recall what it looked before, so it looks similar. And then... Up here, back here, is where you can make all of your updates. So that's kind of where your freighter base is. Over here in the back. So let's go in. 
and uh, the docking bay is similar. But one of the things that was really annoying is you would constantly have to like take these stairs, go all the way up every time. It was just annoying going in and out of your freighter uh, or from the bay, the, the, the starship bay to your freighter. And now they've got these, these little teleporters. And you do that and you're right there on your bridge. That is so nice, it's so convenient. And then the other thing is uh, when I first got onto this freighter, I walked in and I thought, what? This looks totally different. They changed, like, the color of the walls. And then uh, I had, what are these things called? Command centers, I think. Um, I forgot. I, these are command centers. Um, yeah, fleet command room. Excuse me. Fleet command room. And so these look totally different. And so I thought, whoa, that looks so different. It looks really nice. I like it. And... Um, and then the big thing is moving from one place to another, or going to the starship pad. And so now the doors are over here. And so it's definitely a different design and you come over here and there you are. And then there's two doors. The other one is on that side straight ahead. So I, I, I think that the updates are really nice. And then I had train terminals and they were gone. And I thought, oh, it kind of destroyed some of the stuff that I had, because I had a trade terminal sitting right here. I had another one inside the big storage area, and I thought, how? What happened? How do you do? Uh, how do you do a trade terminal in your freighter? Well, it turns out, like the way that the freighters operate now is you've got the, just separate rooms for everything. So you you just have separate separate rooms that that has all the different items. So. Instead of a trade terminal to put on the wall, you've got a galactic trade room. Um, uh, and in, instead of just adding the teleporter, you've got a, a full room that has it. Um, and then you can't do... I had a medium refiner, and the, the medium refiner was gone. So, like, I had a medium refiner back here. And so I thought that there was going to be some kind of glitch. And I had a medium refiner, and I came over here, and I thought, Oh, where, where is it? And I thought, okay, well, I can just put it back in. And they aren't available anymore. Well, it turns out that's actually a room that you build. So the mechanics of the freighter are slightly different. I don't think in a bad way. I think it's it's totally fine. Um, kind of plugs into the walls of the freighter e even better. So I got the fleet command rooms. And then here's my trade terminal, which is kind of close. I put it right over here. And it makes sense. You know, I get the goods from uh, the, the expeditions for my uh, f frigates, and then I come over here and sell the stuff, and then here's my transporter to go to my bases, and then here's the refiner, and the cool thing is, it's a large refiner. And so that's the kind that you can actually put in three items, three items if you want to. Um, and then I've got some storage that I had before, so it converted those just, just not, uh, fine. Um, there's a brand new agricultural section, <laughs> for lack of a better word, uh, cultivation chamber right over here. And so I just wanted to check it out, put it over here. It's nice. I don't think of it as anything special. Uh, the freighters are a lot more lively. Your pilots or your, your captains, your frigate captains, walk around your freighter. So that's very nice. I just found a couple of things during my explorations. I just put them here for fun. That's just temporary, including an island that had a bunch of bubbles. I'm um, sorry, a, a planet that had a bunch of bubbles. So I really like the changes that they made. I still like the old white walls more. I think those, th those to me are just a better aesthetic, but it was a significant change seeing this. But I, 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 I don't mind the modular rooms. And then I had uh, the overseer, he was gone. Like I had this area open and I had the overseer desk and then what is this thing called? The science terminal. And so those are all rooms now. So once I put the room in, he came back. So it does make it a little bit easier to place items. The other thing is I, um, they expanded what you can do. And one of those is you could do glass hallways. I think this is amazing. Look at that. 
and that's my star system. And this is my first star system, so I think it's great. And I, I'm trying to build it symmetrically, so I put one on both sides. And then the other cool thing you can do that you never could do before, you could just walk outside! And you can hear the sound. The sound is different, which is great. I wonder if they tried to do like a 2001 Space Odyssey, because there's no sound in space. So I wonder if they try to mute it for that. So this is so neat. I love that. And you can kind of see the planets. Uh, I, I just think it's great. I love it. I love it. I think that's the Normandy. Oh, wow. You can zoom in. Sweet. So it, it it's just great. And then you can hop out and you can walk on these things. So I'm just like walking on top of my freighter, just hanging out. We'll see if there's a glitch and I fall through and die. But yeah, it's it's great. And so this is the entire top back part. Uh, and I guess underneath us is where the starships are. Where the starships are. And so like they come in from right here, I believe. Right? Yeah, they come in right underneath us. And there's the bridge. Right there. This is the bridge. So it, it's it's really, really impressive. Uh, I, I think they just did a great job. So um, that gives you an idea for the freighter updates. The only... The, the freighter upgrades are much harder, though, because you need the frigate salvage modules. And I think I mentioned before, I'll mention again... Um, do the industrial expeditions, put industrial uh, frigates on those, and that will really help you get uh, the f uh, freighter salvage modules or frigate salvage modules. But yeah, here's the, there's the bridge right there. There it is. There's the captain. So it, it's, it's really neat. There are some weird little things like that, like you can see those holes right there. Um, where's the, oh, here we go. Drop back down. Here you go. Yeah, the, um, I'll just show it really quick. And then we, we're gonna teleport to the planet. So right here is where you do the updates, upgrades, right here. And you need to make sure you've got, whoops, um, in your freighter, uh, I had them somewhere. Oh yeah, there's. So that's what we used to uh, call the cosmic megafauna. Um, oh, I think I used them all. I think I used them for the last update. Uh, but you come over here to upgrade, and you do base parts and upgrades. And so you need salvage frigate modules. And so I I just used the last one that I had because uh, I I built something. I, I can't remember, but it was one of the items that I showed. All right, so that's the freighter update and a little bit of tips on what you need to do. Again, do the industrial expeditions. Put some industrial frigates on there. So let's go to uh, one of the planets that I just loved. It was the first planet that I saw that was a full-blown water planet. I mean, it definitely has land, don't get me wrong, but, you know... I was flying over an ocean for a long time. And uh, so I, I definitely spent some time on developing the, the base because I wanted to do some fun stuff with this base because of the water. And hopefully that is not too pixelated on the screen. It's a lot of colors coming through on the live stream. All right. Cool. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. Um, oh, pff, stupid. I forgot I put, put that little thing over there on the side. So obviously it's nighttime right now. But I, I did a lot of updates uh, to this base as well with the new... Um, the new base updates that you can do so you know some windows with walls and uh, some walls with windows and um, stairs to kind of go down so it's 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 much bigger 
uh, much better visibility. So I just kind of did that, and you can see that there's, uh, I, I put in some stairs right here on purpose. But this is the cool thing that I did. That's not the entire base. Look in the distance. Can you see that? So what I did is I put one part of the base on land over here. Because you can, you can make them uh, cover a decent amount of land. There's a limit. So here we are in the water, right? Because this, this um, planet has this massive ocean. And so the base continues. And look at that. And you, you go in. Boop. And you have oxygen in here. Fully self-contained -cont water base. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Subnautica. I played Subnautica after this, and so this does remind me a little bit of that. Look at that. So neat. So pretty. The only thing is that with the water bases, you do notice clipping of some of the, uh, you know, some of the plant life will come into the base. Uh, that was just a disappointment. Look at this. And... And we're back in the water. Look at that thing. I think it's super cool. And then I place something right over here. And this is something I've been wanting to show. And so I finally was able to build a Nautilon. And it's a submersible. It's a little submarine for this game. And I never was able to drive it until now. Look at that. That's so cool. And so considering that so much of this planet is full-blown water, I mean, I can go and... Um, there's some... Shoot. There's some challenges. Yeah, it's called Dreams of the Deep. Some quests. There's a quest line for water. And um, so now that I've got my Nautilon working, I can complete that or continue that storyline. But it's just great. You can just explore more of this planet, considering how much of it is underwater. And then on any of the water planets, you can actually... Uh, I can transport this Nautilon over there. So my submarine. Oh, where's my uh, thing? Oh, here we go. So there you go. That's the first time I've actually driven that. I never was able to... Uh, it never was operational before. So going back, you can come on up in here, get some oxygen. Yeah. And so obviously this can be expanded even more, um, you know, if I wanted to, though I, I don't really have any intentions or desire to do that. I think it's good enough for me. And next, I, I want to, um, we're doing this. Yeah. Great. And so I've, I've never built this thing called a Minotaur. And so we're going to now transport ourselves to a different base that I thought would be really good to have the Minotaur. There's a base that I have that has an archival trade station nearby. And it's got um, a wrecked freighter nearby. So I, I just thought it's just a really cool location. But the planet is brutal. In fact, it has tornadoes. And um, yeah, so you come right out of the water, hit the stairs, get to safety. I love it. It's great. Um, oh yeah, by the way, what I do is I use the solar panels. Or I don't, I don't know what it, exactly it's called. But you know the solar power thing? This right here? Yeah, solar panel. And I always plug that into a battery. And then from there, I, I plug it into the things that use the battery. Hi, Knight. How are you? Sorry, I just saw your message. Oh, thanks so much. I'm glad you like the moon pool. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's the first time I'm really showing it. Um, so for all my bases, I use the solar panel, hook it up to a battery, and then hook it up to whatever is being used. So in this case, I got the teleporter, and then 
uh, those underwater things, you actually need power for those to operate. And so uh, that's why there's power lines. Can you see the power line? Does that show through? Yeah, or that come through on the stream? So that's why there's the power lines that go over there. I don't know why I went out the door when I could just show you through the window. Um, and uh, that way when you're at nighttime in the planet, uh, these items will still operate. All right, so, uh, so what I was saying about this other planet, let me go over there. And so it's a, it's a very harsh planet. Wrong thing. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's this one right here. So, um, this this planet is is very harsh. Oh, well, she was about to give me an update, so I kind of missed that. And so that's why I wanted to put the Minotaur here. One, because of the location and the uh, nice, um, important, uh, uh, I guess, landmark items that are nearby. So that was one reason. But then the other reason was uh, because the planet is a little bit, a little bit on the harsh side. Yeah, there you go. Extreme hazard planet. There you go, there's the archival trade station. So you can you can see the extreme weather stuff happening on the left side. Radiation. Uh, I'll keep the radi- I, I won't put any protection in. So again, same thing, a little solar panel. And then you can see, can you guys see? Right straight ahead, see that? That is part of a wrecked freighter. Yeah, a crashed freighter. You see that on the uh, left-hand side? So it's just... I just thought this base location would be great next to these two geographical landmarks. And so, of course, again, I mentioned it before with the updates that the game has had with base building, I was able to do little stuff like this, um, you know, where you've got... Um, you know, these, these steps, a lot of extra windows for visibility and just to make it look cooler. Like, I, I think that looks really nice. I can see the freighter, or the trade station from here. Come back over here and I've got a little door to go out to the uh, crashed freighter. I just love it. And I did the same thing. You know, I've got my solar panel. Um, I think they're right over here. Yeah, there's the solar panel. And connected up to a battery and I got my um, uh, my my teleporter so I think if memory serves me right this planet is so ferocious that when it has storms there's tornadoes and I was actually at the door like this looking at the tornado and it caught me and it actually took me up into the air and threw me out uh, like um at 200, 300 meters away. I was scared. I thought I was going to die because <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Um, let me... Yeah, yeah. Let, let's see if, if, if it just shows up so you can see it. So I, I believe this is the planet where it just does... It does these... These uh, tornadoes and lightning storms and it picked me up and basically flew me out somewhere. So that's why I thought, hey, this would be a great place to put the Minotaur. Because the Minotaur is like a mech. It's a mech. So you're a mech warrior. Um, so I'll, I'll place it here momentarily, but I, I want to show the... Um, I had one kill me because it wouldn't let me out. Oh, that's too bad, Knight. Sorry about that, man. Hopefully you weren't on permadeath. Oh, here you go. Look at that. It's. I mean, it's actually beautiful, isn't it? Can you hear it? Can you hear the... Can you hear the can you hear it coming out? Let's see if I come out here. Can you guys hear this? Now you can. Oh! Oh, oh, I'm going in. I'm going in. So, see, it's an extreme wind event. So let's see if we can see this tornado, right? Uh, I don't see it. Oh yeah, there it is. Can you see that? All that wind? Look at that. 
And so if you get caught in it, it flies you out. Oh my god, there it is. Right there. That's so cool. I don't know how the fidelity works with the... Uh, um, uh, on stream, but hopefully you can see that. It was on the last expedition. I'm sorry, Knight. That sucks. So yeah, so uh, we'll just give it a moment to go away, and then um, uh, I'm going to go out. And so that's why I think this will be a perfect planet to put the Minotaur on, right? And so um, that'll be right... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So I'm supposed to put this down, and I'm supposed to put the Exocraft... Oh, you can see it? Okay, great. And I'm supposed to put the Exocraft, Exocraft Summoning Station. Neither of which I've ever built. So, uh... Yeah. Just wait here for a moment. And then uh, there's also this other thing where I'm supposed to update uh, one of the arms. So we'll be able to take care of all of that at the same time. There's a decent amount of people watching. Thank you, everybody. Welcome. Normally, I have people primarily watch my City Skyline streams. So No Man's Sky doesn't capture as much attention. So it's nice to have that. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. As always, if you do like the content, smash that like button. You can dislike it if you if you think it's not good. <laughs> and so um, after we build the Minotaur, I obviously want to drive it around for a moment. Um, and then um, there is another star system I want to go to, and that's where we're going to try the um, the cosmic megafauna with that uh, dream aerial thing. And I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it, see what it says. Man, this is taking a while, isn't it? Maybe I can... Let me see if the windstorm is away and I can just at least walk around and see where I want to... Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. Where where can I put it? Where can I put this, uh, this guy? I put it on a hill on purpose. Oh, this is... Oh, this is nice. This works. It's a nice, it's about as flat as it'll get. So yeah, let me put it over here. Oh! This guy's energetic, you see that? Man, that just cut through a big part of the ground right there. I probably will move it later on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me help it out. Okay, so let me do the summoning station since I have to build that too. Oh, I need some unstable plasma. Beg your pardon? Let me... Um Yeah, I should be able to make that pretty easy, I think. There, here we go. Okay. So I'll put the summoning thing right over here for the time being. So what happens if you come up to it? What, what does it do exactly? Oh, you just pick it up? Huh, interesting. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let's 
select an empty inventory and begin installation with X. Sentinel hard right, right arm. Okay. Well, I mean, let me first check this dude out, right? So I've, I've never had a Minotaur before. What's the... Dude, man, that's sick. That looks amazing. Oh my god. It reminds me a little bit of that, uh, the big robot in Robocop. Ed 209? Dude, this is amazing. Oh! Oh, 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 am I gonna die? Okay. I'm hoping you don't die in this thing. This dude better be as stable as the Boston Dynamics robot. Wow, man, you can just traverse. The, the only thing that bothers me a little bit is... Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Knight. Thanks for letting me know. That's my understanding, too. That's my understanding, too, is that it allows you to just call your extra craft. So you can just travel so fast in this thing. That's amazing. I love the light. Look at how... I mean, this game has really good graphics. I love the light as he moves around. But yeah, you better be as stable as the Boston Dynamics robots, dude. I don't want to die. That's really neat. Can I look from the inside? I'm just kind of curious. Toggle camera view. No way, dude! What? Oh, man. Get the hell out! Oh, yeah, but the visibility is... The visibility is pretty hard, right? Oh my god, imagine just doing the whole game like this from inside. Oh, that's so hard to see anything. I bet you could get used to it. Normally I play the game in first person for sure, but for the robot I think I'll I'll keep it at third person. No, so the only thing that little bit bothers me is, you know, as he walks through things, he just kind of destroys everything. It's like, like, look, like here's a plant right here. You know, it's just... It, he just... I just feel bad for the environment because I feel like I'm just going through and just carpet bombing, destroying the environment wherever I go. That's the only thing that bothers me. So, uh... So I, I, I wish I could be more delicate with the landscape. That's all. God, man, it's amazing, though. But, you know, this planet is very tough very, uh, obviously very challenging to move around on, so I think a planet like this makes sense. I would never put this thing on my first planet. You know, my, my home planet? How do you scan? Oh, you can't scan anything in here? Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. Alright. So I, I would never put this on my main, my home planet. My home base. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Let's see what a storm looks like in this. Perfect. I want to see it. Is it, is it going to pick me up? Is it going to pick me up and throw me somewhere? Because I will survive in this thing. I assume. So let's let's wait. Let's see if there's a windstorm that happens. Pick me up and toss me somewhere. I think that'll be great for the stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I would never put this on my home planet. The, the beautiful paradise planet. I just don't want to... I want to keep it pristine. And uh, whereas this planet, you know... It, it's already in pretty rough shape. I'll try to keep it as pristine as I can, but I, I'm, I don't want to put the Minotaur on that, that on my pristine planets. Oh, man. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Tornado. Come on, send me to Oz. Oh, here we go. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Come on. Will it not pick you up in the Minotaur? I'm like actually heading straight towards it. <gasps> yeah, yeah, it's right there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick me up, dude. Wow. 
Wow. You could just walk through a tornado in this thing. Look at that. Seriously. I can actually fly through the tornado. That's awesome, man. Right on. Yeah, it is a perfect planet for it, isn't it? Cool. I'm gonna clip that. So obviously my uh, my Minotaur is brand new. I know you can upgrade it, right? And uh, you know make it faster and increase its capabilities. Obviously I'll do that over time. How, can you just... How do I get you to just park yourself, dude? I want to go inside my house. Can you just walk on up here? <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I need to put another door or something right here. Oh, whoa. It exited me way over here? <gasps> Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, like, placed me so far away. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah. Nice temporary little spot underneath the stairs. Okay, good. I'm in. Dang, that was scary. I thought it was going to take me away with it. So that's that's neat to know. A perfect planet for this. Yeah, and you see over there, like in the distance, right there? You see those um, crystals? So uh, those are pretty rare, and you can only get those during storms on these kinds of planets. So it's a, uh, you know, great, great planet to have, um, you know, where you're, where, where you can pick up some of these rare minerals that may be needed. I think they're called storm crystals. I, I'm just waiting for the storm to finish so I can go outside and upgrade this dude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I mean when I when I built it I, I try to put in like the windows in certain places so You know it so it looks pretty so it's got some nice visibility. I can get catch the really cool views So I did that on purpose. I, I need to put in some more, but I think I, I was running low on glass. Oh By the way um, uh, Here's another little tip, you know when you come over here to crafted products See how it says glass see right there it says, like, can be crafted from frost crystals extracted from plants on Frozen Worlds. Look at the sign above, or the sentence above it. Refined from silicate powder. So, obviously, way easier to get silicate powder than frost crystals. And silicate powder happens just from mining the ground. So that's the best way to get, um, make glass. Uh, is the storm done? No. All right, well, I would like to do the upgrade. I think the windstorm is gone, though. All right? Am I wrong? Ah, okay, perfect. Cool. That's cool that he just sits down. Okay, um... So, I, I need to do that upgrade. Oh, is this where I build it? In here? So, um, Sentinel hard frame right arm. Ionized cobalt hydraulic wiring. And a lot of pugnium. Okay. I even have a hard frame engine. Um. Hey, yeah, I want God, man, look at. He's got so much storage. Yes, I, I would like to build it. I got the pugnium. Ionized cobalt and hydraulic wiring. 
Um, I just need to go to my base, my freighter, and I, I have all of that. Because I, I don't think I have it with me. Okay, no problem. No problem. I, I'll, I'll be back. And this is the other really good update that they put in the in the game. You can now teleport to your freighter. You never could do that before, which was annoying. And so now you can actually teleport to your freighter. It'll be the second item showing up, if you have a settlement, that is. So convenient. So convenient for moving around. So the, the transportation has improved significantly in the game. It's always a pain to have to fly to the nearest star system, get on your starship, and then, you know, dock on the freighter. And now you can just fly to your freighter. It's great. I, I, I hope I have this equipment that's needed so that I, I don't have to go collecting it while I'm on stream. But I, I should. I, I, I should. Um, so, ionized cobalt. Got it. And I, I should have it in my freighter. So we can use this or we can use my backpack. Either one is fine. Um, co cobalt? Any anybody? Okay. So I've got a lot of storage stuff here. Sure, I've, I'm sure I have it. L looking around. Oh, here we go. I, I don't know if that's enough. Here we go. I, I normally don't collect a lot of it. Oh, sweet! Look at that. It says it's going to process 48. I only need 30. Oh, that's really good. Great. I'll stop it when I get to, like, 31. Oh, okay. That's fine. Great. Give me the rest of it. Craft carbon nanotubes. Got it. Those are, those are easy. And I'm going to move my cobalt back into my main freighter extra inventory. So, carbon nanotubes. How many? Two. Looking at the instructions on the bottom right-hand side. Gather salt. I definitely have that. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god. I, I only have one. Really? We, we can get some... Oh! What the heck? What? Sometimes it'll do that. Yeah, when you're collecting stuff, sometimes it won't put it with, um, it, like, I, it had salt in two different places. Sometimes it, it'll do that. So you can have a little bit of a messy inventory. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, I forgot how much I needed. Is that, is that enough? Oh, I only needed 20. And hydraulic wiring. Okay. I, I already have that. Oops, sorry. Okay. Okay. So I've got everything. Okay. Let me We're good. And so let's let's go back. <clears throat> and we're going to this place. So now I should be able to install the arm. Again, I've never done this before. This is my first time I've ever built a Minotaur. Um, oh, in, in one of the expeditions, um, I had a Minotaur, but it... You know, it, the expeditions work differently, right? You, you get stuff in different ways, and it happens faster. It's not like... It's not like uh, the regular game. So this, to me, this is my real first shot at a real Minotaur the re right way. Oh my god, look at where it put my plane. It put my plane right in the middle of my, sh my, my base. Dude, that's my only door, dude. Oh, oh, 
Okay, well, that works. Hey, buddy. God, that's so cool. Um, yeah, I can do the upgrade while I'm inside. There we go. So, here we go. Here we go. Wait. Why did you... Oh, you know, it was making me do the... The, the salt and all that because it wanted me to make hydraulic wiring. It didn't re realize that I already had hydraulic wiring, so I just kind of wasted that. Oh, wow. So, you look like you went into an accident, dude. And somebody couldn't find the right parts and they installed a different part onto your arm. That's what it looks like, man. So, it's just a... Oh, shoot. What does this weapon do? Oh. It's like a little missile? The Exocraft summoning station can be carried and redeployed. Pick up the summoning station. Oh, okay. Well, hold on for a second. I don't even know what I can do with this thing, dude. And I would like to upgrade this guy. Interesting. Oh, wow. I was looking to see if it had any stats on, you know, like, how much damage it can do and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll pick up that, um, summoning thing and carry it with me so I can, you know, bring this guy to other planets with me when I need it. When, you know, it's, it's a really bad deal. <laughs> when the planet is really rough or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to improve its engine and stuff. Like, I, I know that there's upgrades you can get. Like this? Yeah. You're like, oh, look, you see, you need the storm crystals, so I have those. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, I'm going to do the upgrades uh, off, off stream. Um, so, I think that's good. Let me get this dude back. Park him over here, and I'm going to pick up the summoning station. And hopefully I don't die. You... There we go. Great. <laughs> I had to fly over my plane nose is right there. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, so we're going to get the Dream Aerial now. And that's on the freighter. So we're going to do that, and then there's a specific star system I want to go to. Uh, to to do whatever is supposed to happen with the cosmic megafauna. <clears throat> and so, yeah, whenever I'm, like, collecting items, I always will um, just uh, get them get whatever that loot is, whatever those materials are, and I will just put it in my freighter, because many of the stuff I don't need, but I don't know when I will need it in the future. So, um, so that's why I have a lot of storage areas. Like, in fact, uh, you know, th 
there's one here, and I put this new one right there. So two, three, four, five, and then six. Oh yeah, I built this new thing right here. Check this out. This is new. This wasn't available in the game before. It's an extractor core? So supposedly this gets stuff for you automatically. Like, look at that. It collected chromatic metal. And so the way this thing works is, depending on the star system you're in, it will uh, be able to collect different minerals or materials or resources. And so those will vary depending on the star system that you're in. So it's like collecting all this. It's great. I mean, and it just does that automatically. So that's an extractor unit. Um, I think that's what I used my last frigate salvage model for. Um, uh, frigate salvaged module. Salvage module, sorry. Um, so that's uh, um, right here. This thing right here. Gathers resources directly from the interstellar medium via a complex system of suction intakes and condensing tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gathered substance varies with the local star classification. Amazing, right? And then, look, look what I did right here. Yeah. So we're at the back, the very back top of the freighter. So I just put that on here. It gets some nice, beautiful views. Is that cool? I love it. Okay, so um, I just want to empty. So I, I guess I don't need this hard frame engine for anything. So I'll move that back here. I don't need pugnium for anything. Um, I don't know if I'll need that for anything. So I'll just move it back. Okay. I think I'm good. Freeze up just a little bit of space. Not a lot, right? But um, I, I have uh, space in my uh, starship if I need it. And then, of course, I can um, teleport stuff to my freighter and look at how much space it has. So I, I'm never worried really about not enough cargo space. And then if you want to beam stuff to your freighter, you have to make sure the matter beam is on. All that stuff takes a lot of frigate salvage modules. Um, okay, so Dream Aerial, here we go. This is it. So I made this already. Uh, and I'll, I'll read it out loud. A signal receiver and amplifier tuned to the wavelength of the unconscious mind. It is every color all at once, splitting the surrounding light into a shimmering rainbow. Warning. Carrying this antenna into deep space may attract the attention of cosmic megafauna. So a mega animal. And so I'm, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it on my starship. Pilot ship into deep space to search for cosmic, cosmic megafauna. I will, but I want to go to a specific star system first. And we're going to go to the second base that I ever made, which I really like. And we're going to fly from there. And look at this. It's a paradise planet. That's right. And so the, in my first star system, where I made my home base, it is a paradise planet. And uh, coincidentally, when I went to a second star system, I found a paradise planet there. <laughs> my understanding is that they're very rare. Uh, but I, I, I it, and if they are rare, I don't really see them very often. But when I first started the game, I did run across them, so I got very lucky. And actually, my starting planet had a worm. So if you take a look at the playlist, first episode, there's actually a timestamp. You can see me getting the crap scared out of me because I had no idea the game had sandworms. I felt like I was on Arrakis. And so this is my second... Uh, base that I ever made. I don't think I did any serious upgrades to it, but I, I just really like the planet, obviously. It's a paradise planet. It's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. And you can see, see, this is what happens when you don't have a battery. See, the, the, it's, it's not working. <laughs> right? Um, and, and that's okay. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do the upgrades later. 
And you can tell I've, I've used nothing but like the old walls and everything because I, I built this before. Yeah. Look at where I put my... <laughs> it picks the dumbest places to put your starship. Yeah, but it's a it's a beautiful, beautiful planet. Look at the, the rings. Oh, man. I, I did... I haven't really explored it a whole lot, but enough. Look at that. It's such a nice location. And then uh, it's it's right next to the water too. It's I just really like it. All right, so we are on the right planet. Yep. Great. And so we're gonna fly up and we're gonna go into deep space. Here we go. Never done this before. How are you gonna? Lift off from here, dude. And crash your face right in there to that trade station. All right. So just fly into deep space, huh? There's nothing straight ahead. None of the planets are straight ahead. Okay. We're good. Dream Ariel has awakened. Listening on wavelength. Okay. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Holy. Oh my god. Zando PP3. Hello. How big are you, dude? I'm scared. Are, oh, in incoming frequency. Are you going to talk to me, dude? Oh my god. Oh, look at your tail, bro. A colossal glorious creature drifts by my starship. I, I, it's beautiful. Oh, I can't look around right now. Look at the cool colors. I hope that's coming through. That's so cool. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, uh, well, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but um, I was going to reference another game, but I, I won't say anything because I don't want it to spoil the other game. That's cool that it can, uh, it's telepathic. That's really neat. you end communication that'd be terrible ancient beast vocalization cool once again that's freaky when they do that that kind of time travel loop type stuff yeah I want to dream together <laughs> Marry me. Because that's what he feels like. He's weightless in space. A bustling alien metropolis. Indium veined mountains. A megafauna ecosystem. metaphysical this game sometimes
gather storm crystals. scary. Wow, that's so cool. Oh man, which who do I need more of the language for? I have mo more language words for the Gek. Shoot. I don't know. I'll do Viking, maybe. This is a, a very uh, intricate, or I mean, much longer um, interaction than I expected. I'm going to also look at this guy for a moment. I'm not going to read here. I just want to look at this guy. He's very detailed. You got like six... Six limbs? Looks like in a tail? Gift the pilot spare fuel. Absolutely. Help him out. I wonder if the game takes your answers to help with um, randomizing the look of the uh, megafauna of the space whale. I wonder. I don't know. Because I, I think they are procedurally generated. Ring out every resource? That's terrible. What I do is I do try to discover every species on the planets if I can. your fleet needs from me. Oh, snap! He's a class C? Give me a break, dude. This thing's like class S. Can I look around him at all? Can I rotate him? No? So basically, he won't shoot anything, but he's great at exploration. Nothing good on trade, uh, or nothing good on industrial, nothing good on trade. Obviously, they improve that as you get them more and more, uh, whatever it's called, uh, um, uh, missions. Flesh status, curious. Neuron paths alert, interesting. How do you repair them if they get damaged, though, you know? 
Oh, negative six expedition fuel cost? Yeah, I mean, does he even need fuel? He doesn't, he get, makes it on his own, right? I'm gonna call the freighter here so he can show back up. <laughs> Go. Oh. Okay. Um. Let me. Let me go like above my my base or something like that. There it is. So let me let me go over here. And my understanding is that the, the thing goes away. And so you can build... Oh, it's still here. Oh, so can you just... You can just do more and more and more. I thought it goes away and you have to build a new one. Sweet. Dude, I'm putting this in the... I don't, I don't want another one right now, but I can go and get some more. That'd be great, man. All right, can I call him now? Um... Love that. There he is right there. Uh, my fleet got damaged, dude. My fleet got damaged. That's all right. I'm going to go fly by my... my freighter again. So I kind of did the, what the top looks like, right? Where you can build all your stuff. The only thing is that when you're building, this part doesn't show up. You know, that part doesn't show up. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy be between when you're on the freighter and in the back. Or when, uh, and you're flying outside of it. And then here's the Normandy. This was during one of the expeditions, if you're interested in seeing that. I'm trying to fly past it and then turn around. Where are you? Shit, okay, there we go. That's what it looks like. This is really pretty cool looking, I think. I don't really think the expeditions are really that worth it, but, you know, that one's really nice. Look at that, huh? I like it. Okay, well, let's go take a look at the space whale. What's, what's your name again? Zandu or something? That's a great view. That's a great view, isn't it? That's cool. I'm looking forward to putting him on some missions, right? Grab you by the tail, man. It's like grabbing Homelander by the cape. Okay. That's 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 amazing. That that's really cool. I think that is very good. Alright. Oh 
my god! Fly in! You've gotta be kidding me. I almost, I almost died right there. Oh, by the way, you can fly, um, so you can teleport yourself to your frigates now. You don't actually have to land on them to do the repairs. I was trying to land and it didn't, it didn't catch my ship like it's supposed to. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's give it a, come in from a wider area. up now. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, uh, did the tour of the freighter, all the updates, uh, tips on that, uh, show the, uh, the Nautilon base, which I'm really proud of with the little moon pool and, uh, took the Nautilon out for a spin, uh, built the Minotaur, upgraded it, and then we got to test it out and actually go through a tornado and got the cosmic megafauna. So super happy about all of that. And I think that will be a good conclusion for the stream. Live, stream, live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch on whichever one you want. Please do like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. And if you want to support me more, smash that subscribe or follow button. Thank you for watching No Man's Sky. Hello Games, you guys did a great job. Really enjoying the game. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.